spice or <laughs> well it's kind of like when you do charades you know and you go animal vegetable mineral it's better for us if you say some section of your life because the whole like what's going on with me question is yeah, just really yeah. too big for us um animal purpose. vegetable purpose purpose yeah oh. or gifts or what i should be doing yeah well you know the way we always answer this question because it comes up right people mm -hmm. are like you're here to grow spiritually. Mm -hmm. You're here to live consciously. You're here to emanate your truth. Now, blocks to those things often are a very interesting question, as you can see from being here today, right? Mm -hmm. It's the blocks to I can live my high vibrational conscious self. I can emanate my truth at all times. I can, I can feel a sense of um, knowing myself, right? That's the things that, that, we often help people with mm -hmm. and when we look at you there's a real strong energy in your heart chakra right now and you seem to have a sense of navigating the world from a way that that indicates that you're aware of the pain of others you're aware of the energy of others you're aware of the challenges of others yeah would mm -hmm. you say that's true mm -hmm. yeah you know not everybody can do that right so that's for for people who can, they can't imagine that other people can. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. You're like, really? It, <laughs> trust us. Yeah. It's very, actually, very much more common to not have a clue what's going on with other people than mm -hmm. it is to act to know what's going on with other people. Sensitives don't understand that. And that can get them in trouble. Because a lot of times you expect people to know as much about you as you know about them. Mm -hmm. That doesn't work, does it? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what you can do is use the fact that you're aware of things about other people to create more conversation, to create more conversation. Because a lot of times people who are strong heart chakra people aren't so good throat chakra people. They feel, 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 feel and they don't know how to talk about it. Yeah? I don't know. <laughs> That's a good <laughs> indication that it's true. I feel, <laughs> I, I feel like I'm pretty vocal and yeah. I speak my mind. Yeah. But do you speak your mind about what you feel? Um, or do you speak your mind about what I you think? Yeah, what I think. Yeah. What I feel, I don't f feel I have a need to mm -hmm. necessarily share what I'm feeling. Yeah. I feel kind of content. Yeah. What we see is that the people who know you and care about you and want to know you and care about you see you as a sensitive person who doesn't exactly know how to what's the right words you have a tender heart but you think about it more than you feel about it when interacting with other people when you're by yourself but when you're with other people you tend to take your awareness and put it in your brain and mm -hmm. process it in a talky way through your brain rather mm -hmm. than in an emanational way in a ah. <laughs> we hate trying to talk about feelings it's hard <laughs> it's hard to talk about feelings that's why we're saying it's hard to talk about feelings you don't have to rationalize it for it to be true you don't have to be able to convince reproduce or prove in order for it to be true you know that in your heart but there's a translation thing that happens when you try to communicate that to other people, that awareness. So you'll fall back on explaining in a logical way a thing that doesn't, can't exist outside of logic. And so then if something can't be, we call provable or reproducible, if it doesn't fit into the scientific method, you just keep it to yourself because there's no way to talk about it to somebody else. Hmm. And when you keep it to yourself, people feel that. Mm. people feel that hmm. and we're not 100% sure that we've explained it well to you let's try one more time because we haven't gotten that oh <laughs> feeling from you yet <laughs> we hear the birds chirping outside you hear them mm -hmm. beautiful right? yeah, and yeah. you've responded to that yeah wow we're here doing this thing but the birds are outside yeah, was, the I sun's out that, yeah, yeah probably wouldn't have mentioned that probably wouldn't have if we were having a normal conversation uh -huh. that m 
part where you're moved by that uh -huh. I wouldn't normally have mentioned. Yeah, it's like oh. that, that wouldn't have come out of you. I think it, but I don't yes, verbalize it. Yes, that's what we're trying to point yeah, out. Yeah. Like you think, God, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. But in order to talk about it, it would be like, well, they might not have heard it, so I can't, pr I can't, I can't show them how beautiful it was, so I'll just keep it to myself. Do you understand? Are we explaining? Do I need to, I guess I don't share enough in that way. Maybe I feel like I don't necessarily need to I just hear the birds and I enjoy it yeah but I need maybe perhaps should share how I'm feeling well, more often we think that you want connection and if you want connection that's a place you're not currently connecting how's that yeah that's good that plugs not plugged in yeah so that's a place where you could plug in more if you wanted to uh -huh. so uh -huh. it could be wow do you hear those birds and there's a part of us that feels like you have like what we call the scientist mind on. I, yeah. That says, <laughs> that says, okay, my desire right now, my um, impulse is to say, wow, do you hear those birds? However, if they didn't, then I'm going to feel kind of silly because I can't just push a button and play it again. <laughs> and since I can't push a button and play it again, I better not just say anything. But if you could push, like if it was on TV and you yeah. could rewind it, you would speak yeah. about it. But if you can't rewind it, you're nervous about speaking yeah. about it on some level. Yeah, sometimes I feel like things need to be proven scientifically for people to get it, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I get it. I feel like I get it, but I feel for them to get it, <laughs> I have to prove it scientifically. <laughs> that's what we were talking about. Yeah. So yeah. good. Yeah. Sometimes we have to explain it five <laughs> different ways, and that's okay. Well, we keep looking. What should I be doing? Yeah, well, one of the, you know, the doing thing oftentimes is, you know, give me an occupation or a purpose in my life. But the thing that we would like you to think about changing rather than what you should be doing, is this what we just explained? Because there's a lot of things inside of you, a lot, that you have to share, that you could share, that you don't share because they don't pass the scientific <laughs> method, we'll call it, just as a shortcut. And that keeps you from opening into what you should do what you should be, how you should do it. Just take a risk that something unprovable that can mean a ton to you might affect other people. Look at this, what we're doing today. This is unprovable. True. We're not hooked up to any machine. True, true. We can't reproduce it, although we'll come again on Wednesday and we'll do the same thing, but it's not. True. Right? Uh, millions of people would probably think it's all a big scam, mm -hmm. and it's not. And if we had to wait until those millions of people believed it to do it, we couldn't do it. That's your thing. Mm -hmm. So don't wait to be able to prove it to express and explore and, and, and be in what you know is true. Mm -hmm. That's what you need to do, according to us. Because that energetic change opens a door. And when that door gets opened, you get to be, be who you really authentically are. And that's what you're here to do. And what that looks like as far as an occupation, a volunteer, a nonprofit, or whatever, who knows, that's the exciting part, that'll unfold as you unfold. But you need to open that door so that you can go into the new vista. Because we think all that you're doing now, you've pretty well explored out. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you're getting, tapped. I'm getting explored out. You're explored. Now I want to use it. You need a new door. Yeah. And that's what we think the door is for you. What? That, <laughs> <laughs> that sharing? sense of, yeah, well, that sense of it's not worth sharing if I can't prove it. That's a real shortcutty way of saying it. Mm -hmm. Do you understand that shortcutty way of saying yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. It's not worth sharing if I can't prove it. And since I can't prove it, I'll just keep it to myself. And yeah. you see how, if you imagine you had a mansion with lots and lots of rooms in it, and every time you make that decision, it's not worth sharing if I can't prove it, you lock a door that you throw away the key to, and your mansion gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And every time you change that and you share it, even if you just say it to yourself, Wow, those birds sound great. In the past, I would be reluctant to share that with anyone, including myself, out loud, and now I am. One of those doors opens, and the key is never needed again. It stays open. Mm -hmm. And that's how you get new territory to explore. Maybe it's because when I do um, share something, certain people in my life will say, well, how do you know that? Well, where did you read that? Yeah. Well, you know, they, c they want the proof. I no. don't need the proof, well, but they want the proof. Because that's always been your dynamic. You've always been had an answer to that question. 
Maybe I'm probably. Yeah. So it's always been, well, yeah. where'd you learn that? And they're like, oh, I saw this National Geographic program. Well, I'm going to check that out too. So mm -hmm. you become like a live Google, right? Instead yeah. of being able to be alive, connected to insight, which mm -hmm. is, how'd you figure that out? You know, it just came to me one day. Isn't that cool? Perfect. And that can be your answer. It just came to me one day. Mm -hmm. It was an aha. You know, I like you get in the shower. Yeah, I just feel it. I just know it. I yeah. It just came to me one day. You, you, and if you say, I just know it, then it's like a brain thing. If it just came to me one day, it means I'm open to insight. I'm open to ahas. I'm open to something past. I can prove it. Mm -hmm. What's past I can prove it? We call it ahas or insight from your soul. Mm -hmm. And that's where you're ready to start dabbling and living, in fact, is past I can prove it. Fair enough? Yes, very okay. much. Thank you so much. We feel done, Mary Sue. Are you guys okay? You don't have any burning questions?